What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We got all sorts of content coming your guys' way between the race truck, the tow truck, and then the 12 valve behind me. Speaking of the 12 valve, this thing needs a name guys. I have I can't figure out what I want to call it yet. So this thing needs a name. Red cab, long bed, 360,000 miles, 4x4. Four just your classic old 12 valve, and I have no idea what to call it yet. I've got, I had a few good suggestions, which I'm still contemplating on, but the more the merrier. So leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think we should call the 12 valve. Other thing too, as I'm sure you guys saw in the description, we are going to possibly be giving away a turbo. I'm talking about this turbo right here. In one of my last videos, you guys watched me rebuild this turbo. We installed a 360 thrust bearing for better, better oiling in this turbo and we also installed KC Turbo's 10 blade exhaust wheel for better spool up on the top end and also a extremely loud whistle out of this turbo. This is one BA turbo. So we're, we're talking about giving this turbo away. Now the conditions for giving this turbo away is by February 20th. I want to say it's like about a week away, we have to hit 1,000 subscribers. If we can hit 1,000 subscribers by February 20th, I'm going to give the turbo away to one of you subscribers. So, if you want your chance at winning that turbo, make sure you guys are going down and hitting that subscribe button. And if we can hit 1,000 by February 20th, one of you guys are going to get a chance at winning that turbo. So we do still have yet to tear down our race truck engine. This is the engine we're going to be using to make 700 horsepower roughly out of the 6.0 to put into the Red Cab Shorty. But before we tear that apart, which you guys are going to see shortly, we, are, we have to take care of a very important item on this 12 valve. This is a very common failure point on these 12 valves. It is a absolute must. If you have a 12 valve, you have to do this. This is essential if you want it to be reliable and not have catastrophic engine failure so we're going to start tearing into this we're pretty much going to be tearing apart this whole front end this is not necessary when you're doing this job but it's uh, i've never done it before so i want all the room i can have so i'm going to just go ahead and tear apart the front from the engine here so that we can get to where we need to go and i can explain to you guys exactly what i'm talking about when we get there so i'm going to set up the camera we're just going to do a time lapse and we're going to get after it All right, so just checking in with you guys. We made an absolute mess with the coolant, <clears throat> but we pretty much have the whole front here exposed. This is my first time actually tearing apart the front end of a 12 valve, so I'm a little inexperienced when it comes to this, but I'm figuring it out. Um, it looks like the way the intercooler in this, this side here, let me get some light real quick. See that? So it's gotta like go in. The intercooler has to come in to come up and out. We ended up breaking that clamp there. It was pretty rusty. So we took it off up top there. Got it off down here. But you can see pretty much we have the whole front of the engine exposed. So I might just stop right here as far as tearing apart the front side. And just go ahead and start the process of taking this fan off next. So, um, this already gave me a bunch more room than I would have had if I would have left the radiator and radiator shroud in. So... We're going to go ahead and rip this fan off and uh, try to keep going and get this front cover off.
So sadly guys, I do believe we are stuck. In order to get this fan off, if you have a fan clutch removal tool, you can get on this nut and you can pop this off. But if you don't, from what I've read, people just take four bolts out. You see I got the three out and then there's a fourth one that sits just behind this pulley. And you can't really get to it and I can't get it to break free with just this 10 mil wrench here. You know, I'm starting to strip out the head a little bit. So <clears throat> I think my best bet is to get the fan clutch removal tool so we can pop this off and then we can worry about getting that to that later. So we are pretty much at a stopping point on the 12 valve. We are so close to getting this cover off, but that's where we are. We're probably gonna clean up for a little bit, try to get some of this coolant wiped up and then uh, head back inside for the day. So with that said, thank you guys so much for stopping in. Thank you for being a part of Left Lane Diesels, the 12 valve, the race truck, the tow truck. Don't forget guys, we gotta hit a thousand subscribers if we are going to be giving away this turbo. So head down and hit that subscribe button somewhere underneath here. And don't forget, we need a name for the Cummins. We don't know what we wanna call the 12 valve yet. I've got a couple of suggestions. Keep, leave comments down below. And don't forget that, guys, that we are going to give this turbo away, away if we can hit 1,000 subscribers by February 20th. So let's make it happen, guys. Head down and hit that subscribe button. Like this video and leave comments down below. And I will catch you guys on the next one where we will wrap up the 12 valve and hopefully get that very, very important modification taken care of.